Below are the differences between black box testing and white box testing. Black box testing. Testing the application based on its behavior is called black box testing. Also known as behavioral testing. Testers involved in this type of testing. They are not required for coding knowledge. Only concentrating specification. Generally, black box testing will begin early in software development, that is, requirement gathering phase itself. Testing maintainability is hard as well as when the user interface constantly changes, the inputs also will have to change. In this type of testing, we can test performance of the application. We can use black box testing strategy almost any size, either it may be small or large. For example, functional regression testing, equivalence partitioning, boundary value analysis, etc. White box testing. Testing the application by using internal structure of the coding of application. Also known as structural testing or glass box testing. Developers and testers will involve in this type of testing. Coding knowledge must for this. Contrast of black box testing. White box testing approach, one has to wait for the designing to be complete. Testing maintainability will be much easier than black box test as it deals with underlying codes and a user interface will not affect maintainability of the program. In this type of testing, we cannot test performance of the application. White box testing will be effective only for small lines of codes or piece of codes. Examples are unit testing, code coverage, basic part testing, etc. How to be a good tester? The tips below will certainly help to advance you in your software testing career. Know your application. Don't start testing without understanding the requirement. If you test without knowledge of the requirement, you will not be able to determine if a program is functioning as desired design and you will not be able to tell if a required functionality is missing. Clear knowledge of requirements before starting testing is must for any tester. Know your domain. Knowing domain will help you suggest good bug solution. If you have valid point to make, don't stop by only logging the bug. Provide solutions as well. Good domain knowledge will also help you to design better test cases with maximum test coverage. No assumptions in testing. Don't start testing with the assumption that there will be no errors. As a tester, you should always be looking for errors. Learn new technology. No doubt old testing techniques still play a vital role in day-to-day -day testing. But try to introduce new testing procedures that work for you. Don't rely on book knowledge. Be practical. Your testing ideas may work amazing for you. You can't guarantee bug-free application. No matter how much testing you perform, you can't guarantee a 100% bug-free application. Try to explore as many bugs as you can, but prioritize your effort on basic and crucial functions. Put your best effort doing good work. Think like an end user. This is my top piece of advice. Don't think only like a technical guy. Think like customers or end users. Also always think beyond your end users. Test your application as an end user. Think how an end user will be using your application. Technical plus end user thinking will assure that your application is user friendly and will pass acceptance tests easily. Build good relations with developers. As a tester, you communicate with many other team members, especially developers. There are many situations where tester and developer may not agree on certain points. It will take your skills to handle such situations without harming a good relationship with the developer. If you are wrong, admit it. If you are right, be diplomatic. Don't take it personally. After all, it is a profession and you both want a good product. Learn from mistakes. As in a voice, you will make mistakes. If you don't make mistakes, you are not testing hard enough. You will learn things as you get experience. Use these mistakes as your learning experience. 
try not to repeat the same mistakes. It hurts when the client finds any bug in the application tested by you. It is definitely an embarrassing situation for you and cannot be avoided. However, don't beat yourself up. Find the root cause of the failure. Try to find out why didn't you find that bug and avoid the same mistake in future. If required, change some testing procedures you are following. Don't underestimate yourself. Some of your bugs are not fixed. If some of your bugs are not fixed. Some testers have assumptions that all bugs logged by them should get fixed. It is good point to a certain level. But you must be flexible according to the situation. All bugs may or may not be fixed. Management can defer bugs to fix. Later as some bugs have low priority, low severity or no time to fix. Over time you will also learn which bugs can be deferred until the next release. 